So in today's video, I'll be talking about some suggestions they should add into Anime Fighter Simulator. And just as a small disclaimer, all these suggestions that I'm going to be talking about are actually going to make the game a lot more better. And uh, yeah, none of them are going to be stupid. So with that being said, let's get right into the video. So at number one, we have Universal Bosses. Basically, what this means is they should add some very famous anime characters like Madara Uchiha from Naruto or like Kaido from One Piece or you know famous famous characters from animes and they should make it a boss which could spawn in any of the islands just like a raid or something and uh, yeah it would say in the chat or up here like it says for the time trails or something like that that would be very very cool and also if you kill these bosses they could drop some boosts or accessories which you can wear which will give you some buffs so that's my first suggestion I think they should add universal bosses to the game because all you can do right now is just go to a star and just do max opens and stuff like that which is just an afk based system so that's why I think universal bosses would be a pretty cool addition to the game. Moving on into number 2, we have more uses of Yen. Um, as you guys know, Yen is pretty easy to get if you guys are in the late game and it really doesn't even have a use. Like all you can use it on is actually just opening stars which basically makes it useless after you can earn a lot of it. So that's why I think they should add a couple of ways to actually use your Yen in other ways. Maybe that could be buying some boost like the shiny boost, lucky boost or um, the newly added time boost or whatever it is but there should be a way to spend your yen other than just opening these stupid stars. Alright moving on into number 3 this is a very important suggestion and I think this one is my favorite as well. Um, They should add quality of life updates regarding the auto clicker, sprint and also the magnet game pass. Um, These three are actually essential for you guys to play the game like legit. Like I know all of the free to play people are very slow they do not want to do the time trade since they have to literally pick up every single drop and it is very difficult for them to kill all the mobs since they have to use their auto clicker down here. So that's why I would highly recommend them to add a quality of life update in which you could actually buy these things with in-game currency. So for example what I mean by that is that you could buy it for like 10,000 time trail shards or for a certain amount of yen or any other methods. So I think that would be very very cool and would actually make the game a lot more playable. But I think in Anime Champions which is like a similar game to this which is going to be released very very soon, uh, they're gonna be having these types of features in it so you can buy like the utility or like the quality of life game passes with in-game currency rather than spending robux. So that is gonna be very very cool for that game. But yeah it would be cool to see it in this game as well. Moving on into the fourth suggestion that I have and that is that actually add some interactive gameplay. Like right now the only interactive gameplay they have in the game is actually doing the infinity tower or the time trails or the dungeon and that is basically it. Um, The only other thing you can do is just open stars which is afk based and very very boring. So that's why I think they should invent like other game modes, Um, they could go into tournaments or you know they could actually cook something up and make a very very solid game mode or um, other things like that and that would actually make the game a lot more playable. So just like the anime fighting simulator x the newly released game um, they actually have some interactive gameplay like you guys have to do quests and they are not that tedious like you can do it in like one or two hours and then you have to turn in the quests you get special rewards and they also have bosses like every 10 to 15 minutes which is very cool as well so it is a lot more interactive than this game right Right now and like the games are progressing right now I think that game will overtake this game uh, very very soon so I think they should improve this game and make it a lot more interactive. Moving on into number five we have a very very personal um, suggestion but it is regarding the artifacts. I think they should add a way so you can equip all the artifacts or they are permanent so basically like every artifact you own um, will increase your stats. I know I know that sounds a bit broken right but they could balance it out or something and that would actually make use of all the artifacts like right now as you guys can see um, I do not even have the artifacts of passage not even the artifact of riches and also the attack because I cannot be asked to go equip them to get their buffs. 
If it was like permanent, I would upgrade them and just keep them on my side and I would just receive the buffs uh, like a normal game would have. So I think they should add a way of equipping all the artifacts or make them permanent since that would be more beneficial and a lot more worth it to go for these artifacts. Cause right now I think it is very stupid since you can only equip like one artifact and if you have the double artifact thing, you can equip two, but their effectiveness is 75% which is actually pretty stupid. But that's just my own opinion uh let me know in the comments below if you guys agree with this suggestion moving on into number six we have a very special um you know suggestion so basically as you guys know that every island has this crafting machine you go into it you can give your mythicals or your shiny mythicals and turn them into a craftable unit but this craftable unit that you get is weaker than a secret unit right and in my opinion what they should do is they should add an option for us to turn our secret units into a better craftable unit which is better than the secrets but worse than the divines you know what i'm saying um that would actually make the game a lot more fun and it would actually make the secrets usable since like most of the time i usually delete my secrets since i don't actually need them you know so that's why i think they should add this option into the game that you can craft your secrets into a better craftable unit which is better than the secret but worse than the divine units so that would be actually pretty pretty cool okay now here is the last suggestion that i have for the game and as you guys know it takes you a long time to think of these essential gameplay ideas which you can implement into the game but about my last suggestion like the one i'm going to be telling you guys right now i'm not actually very sure about it so the suggestion is to add difficulties to the time trails right um so as you guys know like the size of dungeon like small medium large i think there should be an option of like easy normal hard you know what i mean and the drops would be based on that so if you are doing the easy one you get like less drops if you are doing the normal one you get decent drops and if you are doing the hard one you get very good drops and of course it would actually make grinding more useful because right now um only the infinity tower is worth grinding but if they add like the hard normal easy thing um that would actually make like the impossible time trail grindable it would be a bit of a challenge so you would want your units to be a lot more stronger you know so i think they should add that but it is up to them and if you guys agree with all of these suggestions which i said in this video make sure make sure to comment down below and also hit that like button so the developers of this game actually see this video and maybe one or two of these suggestions would be added into the game um that would be pretty pretty cool so if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like these make sure to hit that subscribe button and uh, yeah make sure to hit that subscribe button and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video peace